I might see if he can get another like uh, badge in thingy. Badge in, you can tell I'm a nurse. Damn it, not a badge, it's not a badge. We are two women. You are a child. <laughs> you are two women. She talked her daddy into buying her a queen bed. And I'm just like, I didn't get a, I didn't get a queen bed till I was married. Hey you guys, welcome to another off duty days vlog. So, um, this is the tail end of the first week in our new place. Um, I just got off of work this morning. I worked Tuesday, no, I worked Wednesday night and Thursday night. Today is Friday, May 31st. So, um, yeah, I just woke up around 1.30. Um, was it 1.30? Yeah, around 1.30. Um, Jade and I are actually about to go see the movie The Strangers Chapter 1. So I just wanted to check in and say hi real quick. Um, <clears throat> I'm wearing my glasses because literally my eyes were giving me problems all last night. I don't know if it was something in the air at the hospital. Something was making my eyes itch. And then, my, then I kept rubbing my eyes and then my contacts got all messed up. And literally, I felt like I drove home blind because this one kept moving. Um, and then this one was just like, my eye was just itching. So I'm giving my eyes a little break from my contacts. Um, probably through the weekend. I don't know. I go back to work on Sunday night. I work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday next week. Um, I've put my days all kind of together instead of spread out, especially because I work night shift. Um, usually I like one day in between, but I just kind of want to get my drive over with right now because it's so far. But, um, I'm also going to start looking for probably another job in the area because, um, or transferring to one of our hospital's bran other branches because the drive ain't, mm -mm, the drive ain't driving. And I want to go back to day shift. So, um, I'm going to be looking into doing that. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to pop in and say hello. I don't remember where the last vlog left off, but um, if I need to add any other footage for that, I'll record that another day once I look at all the footage because I really don't know what I have. I have a mix of footage on the camera and on my phone for certain things, so I have a lot of editing to do. I also need to get a new laptop probably this weekend. I'll order that or go buy it at the store. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, yeah, so we're going to get going. The movie starts at 2.50 and it is 2.45, um, but we're like 10, 7, 10 minutes away. So um, who are we? We're like so close to everything. At our house, we used to have to drive like at least 20, 15 to 20 minutes to get to the movie theater. But yeah, so we're about to head out now. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Hey, y'all. So we just got back from the movie um i don't know if y'all can hear the fan in the bathroom hopefully not hopefully it's not too bad because i have my noise thingy on my little wind sound thing but um we just got back from the movie um it was it was good um i think i guess they're starting over that movie and making it like a what is it i don't know when they do like a sequel or a trilogy or whatever because at the end it said um to be continued so yeah, Jay, did you like the movie? Yeah. What did you like about it? That it was creepy? I mean, it's a horror movie, so. Okay. Yeah, we're just just, we're horror horror movie buffs. Yes. So yeah, Tim didn't come with us. He's at the gym right now. Um, he didn't come with like, us because he doesn't like horror movies and stuff like that. He's gonna be like. Okay, I'll come with y'all. He'll be mad he sat through it. So um, I wanted to show you guys an update on what I did to the closet. I never, I, I feel like I have so many like half thoughts or half things that were done. But let me show you guys real quick how it's looking right now. It's obviously not done. Um, I still have to get a vanity so I can put away my makeup and stuff. But all of that stuff is still in here. And um, yeah, so I have to get something to put my makeup and hair stuff and all that. But let me show you guys um, what it's looking like right now. So this is what I decided to. So this is what I decided to do. Uh, we just have the hamper right there. So Tim has pretty much. Okay, so my stuff start like starts like right here where this scarf thing is. But um, he pretty much has just this and that because he really doesn't 
need a lot of closet space at the moment. He got rid of a lot of his clothes. So, um, yeah, so, you know, until we go shopping and he needs more space, this is how it is. And he still has like down here, we can always move the hamper over here if he needs more. And then these things are going to go in our storage. So, yeah, it's not going to be a big deal. Oh, I just realized he tucked the ironing board right there, which is good. Okay, and then we went to the pool the other day. That's why that towel is there, so don't mind that. But anyways, um, so he has all, like, his shoes at the top, and he has a few down here. And then we have more shoes by the front door. So I put all my boots up here, um, kind of like how I had it at the house. Um, put my boots there. And then if I get more boots, I'll probably get risers to put, like, that or, like, a shelf, a singular shelf, and then, like, use the vertical space. So, yeah. Um, and then I put my tennis shoes down here. I got rid of so many shoes, so I don't have as many tennis shoes anymore. I just kept the ones that I wear regularly. Um, and then these were jades, but she doesn't want them. I think her grandma bought them for her, like, a couple years ago or something. But she doesn't want them, and they fit me, even though they're a size 8. So, yeah, my girl wears an 8, y'all. So I left my jeans kind of the same way that they've always been. And then I just have like my jackets and stuff because at first I had these down here, but they were dragging on the floor. So I just moved them right here and just use this little space for the jackets and stuff. Um, this sweater is like this cardigan. I take what like I just took it with me to the movies and stuff. So, yeah, um, it kind of just. I put this one to sit in the front because that's the one I'll probably reach for the most out of any of these things, especially now that it's like hot and stuff. I'll only grab it if I need to go somewhere, but I do want to get another cardigan that's not as thick and bulky and then also maybe one like this that's better quality. Um, yeah, and then I have my jeans and stuff here like I said. Um, I'm not OCD y'all, but I do like for it to kind of look a certain way. So don't mind me fixing the hangers. I think I moved them over or something on accident. And then these ones are super close together. But anyways, it's my jeans. And then what I did was I put like my dress pants. I only have like one pair of dress pants because um, I got rid of all my other ones. And then I put like my skirts. And then I have like dresses. So I have like more casual dresses into dressy dresses. And then these are like sleeveless, like spaghetti strap, and then it goes into short sleeve and then long sleeve and then more like just sweater tops and things like uh, dress, dress clothes, which I don't have a lot of because I just wear scrubs. So, yeah. Speaking of scrubs, all my scrubs are down here, but let's start from this side. So I decided to put my shirts that I keep hung down here and um, some of my rompers and things and then I just kind of folded some of them over so this is like a long sleeve one I never wore this I've had it for years um, but yeah so um, yeah so I have like all my crop tops and regular tops and stuff and then like my then it goes into rompers and then it goes into like two piece sets and hoodies and other jackets and things like that other sets and stuff so that's how that is and then my shoe setup is still the same like I said so I still have my two shelving units that I got these on Amazon like years ago um, and then I just have my flats on the top and then I have two of my short booties on this top shelf as well but when I get more flats I'll probably move them up there and then I just have like all my heels and stuff which I do need to kind of go through and purchase like new versions of everything that are better quality like I love my clear heels but these are so worn I got these on Fashion Nova like look at this so um I do want to get new ones of those um I may get some new nude full heels like sandal heels and then I do need to get new black heels as well um these are my favorite black heels oh, I think they're from forever 21 yeah they're from forever 21 and these are my favorite black heels but y'all they're they're um you see like it's lifting and stuff but it's because I wear them a lot like they're just done look look at the look at that you see 
yeah so i had found some by chinese laundry that i liked um i gotta see if i can find them again because i'm gonna just go ahead and probably buy them and they're the similar style i like that slightly chunky heel i love it and then i just have those two boxes with boots over here um i have my chloe boots in there and then my um fashion nova boots there's like some cream boots i just have extra hangers and then i have all my scrubs um so where i work we wear this um royal blue color and then my old job i used to wear seal blue and then i have some other random ones i had another job where we wore this gray color charcoal gray um i had another job where we wore this color i forget what it's called caribbean blue or something like that and then i have some random ones in here i did get rid of some of them um but i do have some random ones because i used to work like staffing so yeah and then for like accessories and stuff so instead of putting all my bags in a drawer i just put like a few up there but i do want to get a riser just to put like my bags that i don't reach for often up there and then i just have some bigger bags and stuff here you can't really see everything and then um i have my fragrances here um i'm not a fragrance collector i like to use what i have and then i also have an atomizer so um tiffany rose gold is in my advisor but i just put it behind here because it don't need to be shown and then i've been killing this ariana grande cloud my daughter and husband got it for me for my birthday and i love it it's like my favorite like go-to daytime scent i used to love um dolce and gabbana light blue but i mean i still do but um i use that for like probably like the last three years the dolce so it's nice to get something different to kind of use this one another friend of mine had got for my birthday like i think my 32nd birthday a couple years ago and so it's almost done and i do like this fragrance so i am going to get the bigger bottle and then this is one of my og favorites gucci rush love 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 that's like my third bottle of that um so yeah and then this i got from my mom like a long time ago Givenchy, Givenchy. but i barely use this it's super strong and then my husband got this for me for my birthday or christmas or something a few years ago as well and i use this a lot too and then my daughter she gave me those fragrances from bath and body works because i like this one i like pure wonder um this one i don't know how i ended up with this one i think she just gave it to me but um it's funny because I gave her two of mine that I never used all, at all and then she gave me these two. But I like those two fla scent flavors. I like those two scents, especially Pure Wonder. I feel like it's a good like just daytime I'm running out type of body spray if you don't want to like use your actual like expensive fragrances. And then I just put all my like accessory shades right here. And then this is all my makeup and stuff that I got to put in a vanity when I find one. And then this is all like hair stuff and makeup stuff as well and hair tools. So yeah, so this is pretty much the overview of kind of how everything is looking. Right now on my side. So yeah, that's kind of what I have it looking like right now. Um, the rest of the bathroom isn't done yet, but we did take that mirror out and put it over there, but it's not going to stay right there. And then um, our room pretty much looks the same as at the house. Um, we really don't want to get like too much new stuff because when we buy our next house, we want to be able to like get new stuff if we want to, um, if we decide to. So um that's it i just do i do need to get a rug for under the bed because we have all floors there's no carpet where in the house there was carpet in the bedrooms and closets and stuff um the bed kind of slides a little bit so i need to find a nice rug for under it i'm just trying to figure out the size i think i need a 10 by 12 but i'm not sure um yeah i gotta figure that out and then Jade's bed comes on Tuesday. Tuesday. It gets delivered Tuesday. So when her bed gets here, we'll start working on her room. And um, yeah. And then, okay, so for the living room, I told Tim that since he's lost his like gaming space twice now. Yeah. And then when we moved here, um, he was going to basically set up all his games and stuff out in the living room so that I can, because I'm like a, I'm somewhat of a, what are you doing? 
Oh. I'm like, what is this crumbling? I'm somewhat of a homebody to some extent. Now that I'm closer to the city, I'll probably like get back to being more social. Cause like I can be social, very social. Like my social battery can last pretty long, but I am more of a homebody. So I like to, you know, lay down, watch shows and things like that. And granted, I like to lay on the couch sometimes and chill. Um, I love my bed. So I wanted to have like the room for like when I wanted like chill and decompress and get away from everybody. And then he can play in the living room and stuff. So he's gonna get a new gaming chair and we're gonna probably put this one in storage. But um, I told him, hear me out, this is my idea now. So I told him, just picture it in your mind. This space all right here, because the only thing I was gonna put in there, over there, why is it not focusing? The only thing I was gonna put over here was a computer desk right here to put the iMac. And so this whole space, we can move this couch over here and then this is the TV he has to absolutely play his game on. So that was the whole thing of why there's a smaller TV in our living space and the bigger TV in our bedroom is because he swapped them out. This is his gaming TV. So it has to be the TV he has to play his games. So I told him he could mount this TV over there in this corner and then he can basically have this as like his space to like play his games and stuff. And then we can still have the living space, but we just have to move this couch over here. And he'll get a new chair so that it kind of matches better because this one has a red seat. Um, even though if he just covers it, it'll be fine as well. But it's up to him. I don't know what he wants to do. But so we're going to work on making that space his, um, his little gaming corner, you'd say. Um, yeah. And then the kitchen is still a mess. <laughs> um, we still have boxes and stuff all over because I still do need to like unpack and go through some things. Um, we have to break those boxes down still. Um, and then he's giving away like a couple of our other TVs. So um, I told him we can move the big TV. Let me show you guys this TV. This was a TV that was in our living room and it's huge. It's a 65 inch. So now it's in our bedroom, but I just feel like that TV is too small for the living space. So we'll put this one back out there, mount that one, and then get a new TV for our bedroom. We could probably get like a 55 for our bedroom. And we have two other 55 inches that we're giving away. So um, to family and a friend. So yeah, that is it y'all. Um, Jade is loving her room. We put up the mattress for her, the air mattress, so we can kind of gauge. Um, we let her take back the queen air mattress since our bed is here. Um, so we can kind of gauge what um, the spacing would look like when she gets her bed because homegirl, um, she talked her daddy into buying her a queen bed. And I'm just like, I didn't get a, I didn't get a queen bed till I was married. Because Tim and I started off on like a full size bed, honestly speaking. And then we got a queen bed. So she's 13. I When I was 13, that's when I got a full size bed. And the plan was to get her a full size bed. But the one that she liked only came in queen. So here we are. It gets delivered Tuesday. And um, she also has my old vanity, my mirror as well. Uh, yeah. Are you sure you want to keep that mirror? Lab, if, I mean, if there's any of the mirrors that I like. A lot of the vanities I've been looking at, they have the mirrors attached. So attached to what? Attached to the table. Oh, so I'm just asking you so that I know what I can buy for mine, for me. I think it looks fine. I think it's a good space. I think you have enough space over there. You don't need a, you don't wear like makeup and stuff yet. So you don't need like a ton of space. Remember when girls Sephora, can I get mascara and a lip liner? Mm-hmm. And also I think I'm running out of glow this Me too. Mine is like empty already almost. We gotta go re up. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow when like we could run out. Cause I need to go see about getting a new laptop and I need to set this computer up too. Mm -hmm. If not, if we were gonna run I may tomorrow, just send, set it up in here and do my stuff real quick. If we were gonna run out tomorrow, can we go to Hobby Lobby look for a diamond painting? Yeah. Yes. 
We can go see if they have it. Yeah. We can go see if they have it. Um, yeah, y'all. So, and this girl's room is so big. <laughs> um, and then she also has my two um storage things. They're like the IKEA dupes. Um, I got them at Michael's. If anybody wants to know, that's where I got it from. And we got to get a rug for her bed as well, her under her bed, because yeah, it's going to slide on the floor. And then this shelf is supposed to go in the living room, but I want to like either spray paint it or sand it down and paint it by hand a different color um, to match the living room, maybe like a light gray or something like that to kind of pull from those colors out there um, or even black. I'm not opposed to the black because the wall the walls are white. So, and I, at first I was gonna um. Initially, I wanted to put like wallpaper behind our bed, which I still might do eventually because we'll be here for a while. I might still do that, but the ceilings in here are so tall. Like, girl, I don't know if I had that in me to be a uh, wallpaper in ten foot ceilings. That's gonna take a lot of wallpaper and a lot of time in a ladder which I don't have so because even if I get a step ladder I'm still not going to reach the top so um yeah Jade I know um we got to figure that out we got to figure out how we're going to configure that um if it's going to go around your bed frame or if it's going to go around the ceiling because we don't have a ladder Jade so I don't know what to tell or you can you try to find somebody to do it um I don't know if there are people who do that because LED lights, all you do is stick them. So we have to see because we don't have a ladder. I don't know if daddy knows somebody who has a ladder that he could borrow, but then it's like, how are he going to get it here? Because we don't have trucks. <laughs> so I don't know yet. Um, I was thinking about that last night, but there's other ways you can do it. I've seen people do LED lights other ways. Um, I've seen people just put it around their bed frame. So it still lights up and then like around the windows and like um, around the closet door, like there's different ways to do it. Um, you can do it down the corners of the wall, I think, I don't know. Or you can even do it along the bottom of the wall as opposed to the top and it would light up that way, you know? But we'll figure it out as we go. Everything's not gonna happen overnight. And if there's a way for us to get a ladder that like folds down that's like um collapsible then we can get that and be able to do it but right now we don't have a ladder so it's not something that like is a priority thing to do right this second anyway um we need to finish like getting the rest of your room together as well um so we can get rid of these boxes and actually have everything done before school starts um i want to put something over this I know, I was looking at that yesterday. I mean, I don't want to like fully cover it because if something happens and they have to come into the unit and check it, it has to be accessible. But I was like thinking I could put like a picture frame or something over it, but I'm not sure what type of, um, what to put over it to hide that thing. Because whenever we get the decorations up in my room, I might as well want to look at that big. Yeah, but you can't see it unless you close the door. So when you go to sleep. I close my door. Yeah, when you go to sleep, no. you just go to sleep. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, certain people have to realize we're not in a house anymore. So the electric panel is inside the apartment and not in the garage. But anyways, um, this little spoiled brat, she's not a brat. She's just spoiled. I was about to say, where did brat come from? <laughs> so I mean, that shouldn't be in your category. <laughs> but yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. See what my husband is doing. What we about to do? What we gonna get into? If we gonna do anything tonight? Cause I know he's supposed to cook curry chicken or something. But something tells me he's gonna come home and be like, I don't feel like cooking. Let's go do this. I do want seafood. I've been craving crab oh my God. and crawfish and stuff for so long. So I'm ready to go eat some seafood. You hear me? Um, but yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do yet, so I'll get back with y'all in a little bit later. Or we should just get seafood. <laughs> just made dinner. I slaved away in this kitchen. Not your face. <laughs> it was no. so hard to just throw this together for my yeah, family. Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you have. Yes, I have. What did we make curry chicken? In my life. <laughs>
Not for you. Yeah. I'm scared to make it for you because you make it so good. Oh, it's good. Okay, anyways, I have my dad's recipe, by the way, so I get off my I top. I just said I've never it's made it for years. you. you wanna I just said I've never made it for you. Oxtails. I know. I made oxtails before. Yeah. It was all right. I'm just joking. Anyways, no, Tim cooked the curry chicken. I made the rice and the plantain. Um, but he made the chicken. So, whoopie -whoop. And I made dishes. She washed dishes because we still haven't ran the dishwasher. I don't know why. But, you know, if I'm not home, nothing gets it done. Because I slave away day in and day out to provide a way for these people. Yeah, so we're about to eat. I was laying down, chilling. Oh. <laughs> good morning, you guys. Sorry about the lighting just then. Um, good morning, y'all. So today is Saturday, June 1st. Happy June. I know when y'all are seeing this, it's probably July. Hopefully, I can get all my videos up and get y'all caught up to date before August. I'm hoping. I might slow down on vlogging just so that I can kind of get y'all caught up. But anyways, I'm dressed. I'm up and dressed for the gym. I was gonna go to the gym here in our building, but Tim actually wants to go to um, his gym. that he, he has a membership at a gym. I canceled my membership. I used to go to Anytime Fitness up where we used to live, but I canceled it because I only went to that gym because it was like super close to the house because my whole thing is like convenience and not having to drive super far. So that was the closest gym to our house. So that's why I had a membership there for three years. Um, yeah, May actually made the third year. So uh, I just went ahead and canceled it so it won't renew. And then he has a membership with 24-hour uh, fitness. And with them, he can bring two guests. So usually we'll go all three of us as a family or um he'll just go by himself or me and him will go so um i told him i was gonna i had got up and got ready to go to the gym because i want to really 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 dive into getting back into like good habits and wellness and things like that so um yeah he went to take xyla out for her little walk real quick and we're gonna head to the gym um sorry it's kind of cloudy today so it's kind of giving it's dark but i'll turn on Oh, he turned the switch off, that's why. Because I'm like, why is the light not coming on? Okay, so I'll kind of turn this light on here. I'm just um, making my oatmeal. Um, I don't know if y'all want to, like, actually... Oh, God. <sighs> this um, tripod is interesting sometimes. So I'm just making some oatmeal. Um, this is the Quaker Oats um, instant oatmeal, the cinnamon and apple. And then I just cut up some apples to put in there as well. So I don't know, maybe I need to get some aesthetic -y shots because that's what the girls, the girls be doing these days. You know, people want to like make things look better than they are because this is really just oatmeal. Yeah, girl so i'm just about to eat this real quick and then i think the gym is like 10 minutes five minutes away i don't know it's like close it's real close so um yeah i might see if he can get another like uh badge in thingy badge in you can tell i'm a nurse damn it not a badge it's just not a badge um another um access band thing sorry y'all i i'm trying to make sure i'm in the frame but i don't want y'all to just be looking at my who has but okay hold on let me let me tilt y'all up a little bit there we go so um i might see if he's able to get another one for his account just a second one so i can go by myself sometimes because the gym here is nice and everything but 
one of the machines that I usually used all the time, it, it was broken when we went the other day. Um, the screw was like loose or something. And so I couldn't adjust the seat. And y'all know I'm a shorty. Um, yeah. And then they also don't have a Stairmaster. And that's one of my things that I do. So, um, yeah. Oh, we switched to oat milk, by the way. So I've been buying Planet Oat, oat Milk. Um, last time we got the vanilla, but Jade said it was kind of too sweet. So this time I just got the original extra creamy. So hopefully it's good. I mean, I'm just using it with my oatmeal, so I'm not really going to taste it per se. But I'll ask her because I think she used it the other day unless she finished the other one that was in there. Because there was a... Oh no, I just opened this. So she didn't try this one yet. So we'll see if she likes this one better. Um... Yeah, y'all, so I'm about to just eat this and then we're going to head out to the gym. Um, yeah, I'm going to kind of fill the gym out and see if next time I go, maybe I'll record. Anyway, so I'll probably just make a reel, like a June 1st reel because, you know, your girl is kind of in a good mental space. I'm happy. I'm refreshed. I feel like we hit a good reset. Um, things are just kind of aligning. I just got to get my stuff together for going back to school. And then as far as like my job, like driving that far, I don't know yet, but we shall see how that works out. But I really do need to get my school stuff together because I just kind of want to knock out however many years I have left. I'm thinking three, but the way Texas schools are set up, it's looking like a little bit longer than that. But Hopefully not. I mean, if that's going to be the case, then I'll just choose a different school. That's not a big deal. Because what I'm not about to do is waste as much time as I did in my um, ADN program. Yeah. Not doing that again at all. That was awful. So, um, oh my God, I dropped this in. So yeah, y'all. So I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey y'all, so we're back from the gym. Got Smoothie King, about to be a complete regular there. There was a Smoothie King right next to our house too. So I would always get smoothies, but before that, I used to be like more of a tropical smoothie girl, but, and I still go to tropical smoothie, but I've been on Smoothie King kick. So I got the Vanilla Hulk, um, or basically I got the coffee, the cold, I got the cold brew coffee, uh, cold brew co cold brew coffee Hulk. Okay, I got the cold brew coffee Hulk because um, I wanted the protein for after my workout. I've only drank like a quarter of it, so I'm be working on it for a little minute. I'm about to go shower and get ready for the day. We're gonna go back to Nebraska Furniture Mart. See about getting me a new laptop, um, and then. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do after that kind of whatever the wherever the day takes us We're supposed to do like a date night tonight. I need to wash my hair. So See about that. But yeah, I'm about to take a shower and get ready and I'll come back and check in with y'all. I know I haven't been like showing y'all much, but I'm gonna start <laughs> showing y'all more I promise I just gotta finish getting my life together um, Yeah, and I need to find my other tripod so that I'm able to kind of like prop y'all up a little better when I'm doing certain things. But yeah. That's what's going on right now. So we're at this, what is this? Uh, crab, crab, King. crab King. Trying their seafood. We ordered calamari. Got a fish basket. Squeeze it. Yeah. Yep, there you go. Okay, so we got sausage, shrimp, and potatoes, and corn, brown food, crab legs. Let's see if you taste it. Is it good? Spicy? Yeah. 
Huh? A little hot. Oh. Jay's trying to pick out a diamond dot. Okay, it's, it's between the Hawaiian one. Okay. The mushroom one. Oh, the mushroom one's cute. And you're gonna have LED lights? That'll be cute. Yeah. That looks cute. The Hawaiian one, the mushroom one. The oh owl. <laughs> I think you should do the mushroom. I think so. And I need to I need to make it my business to use my cricket machine this year. I'm gonna find something that I can make. Cause I know this is gonna keep me busy. Hey y'all, so we're back. Um we had went and got seafood as you saw. We went to this place called Crab King. But then um we came back home and then Jade and I went back out. Um she wanted this diamond painting thing, so we went and got that. I'm gonna just show you guys real quick everything we got. So quick little haul, quick little haul, quick little haul. Okay, so from Michael's, we got this diamond painting kit. Um, she got the one that's like mushrooms. And then she also got this, pull that off. She also got this LED um, neon sign for her room. It says create. She's very artsy creative, as you can see. So you can put those back in the bag. Those are yours. Oh, we need to get a rug for under this bit because the way it's probably scratching up the floor every time it slides oh lord um i'll show you ulta and sephora next because there's less of that stuff so ulta um jade got this hydro boost hopefully y'all can see because i know it's kind of dark let me see if i can go closer to the light okay so she got this Hydro Boost Night Serum. So she wanted a different moisturizer that wasn't the CeraVe that she was using. So got this for her. And then, excuse the light, y'all. I'm sorry, but it's just gonna have to be. And then she also got this lip gloss. And she got some cleansing micellar water, um, brow mascara gel. What else did you get? She got two mascaras and a lip balm. Of course. You can have the bag if you want. And then I got this e.l.f. Um, Power Grip Primer. I heard it was really good. I actually picked up the big one, but I want to try the little one first and see if I like it. Um, they say it's a good dupe for milk makeups, but um, I haven't even tried milk, so I don't know. But at least if I like this one, then I can use it. I don't really use primers as much anymore, so I don't know. And then I also got mascara, waterproof mascara. I usually get Lash Paradise. And then at Sephora, it was just a re-up real quick. Um, we both needed more watermelon niacinamide dewdrop serums. And then I got more of the Glow Recipe uh, Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner. I've been actually really loving this. So this will be my second bottle. Um, I did do a sponsorship with them on TikTok and my Instagram, but it's not on my TikTok anymore. I took it off my TikTok. Um, it's still up on my Instagram if y'all want more information on this specific toner. Okay, y'all, the last place, the last place we went was Home Goods. Um, it was actually the second place we went, but uh, then we went to the beauty stores to Sephora and Ulta. But I got this um, soap dispenser for me and Tim's bathroom. And it's from the DKNY Pure line. And um, I got the toothbrush or the, yeah, toothbrush holder cup thing as well. Um, this one was $6.99 and this one was $12.99. Um, I really like the texture and I feel like it goes with the flow of like our room into our bathroom. So that's why I got those. Um, I had to unwrap them so I can tell you guys real quick without having to do all this <laughs> and then we needed um we needed some mitts for the kitchen some new ones so i picked up these uh ralph lauren mitts um they're just black and white with like a floral pattern very cute ish i don't know oh what is this red stuff 
Uh, there's like a red thread in this one. I don't know why. But anyways, well, it's home now. So yeah, that. I got some razors for dermaplaning. I use, I actually use um, medical grade razors cause I am certified in dermaplaning. So I am like, yeah, certified to actually dermaplane. So, but I just got this cause it's like easy sometimes um, versus the medical grade razors because um, they're really sharp cause they're, um, uh, what are they called? Scaffolds, yeah. So I got this, it's like a 15 pack from Dr. Wellness. I don't know, but yeah. I got this room spray from, oh, the mitts were $9.99. The razors were $7.99. And then I got this room spray, it's the orange, room freshener, sorry. It's the orange clove scent from Miss Myers. And this was $3.99. It smells really good. It smells really fresh and clean. Um, Jade got a bedding set. This was $34.99. I told y'all she talked her daddy into getting her a queen bed. So she wanted white sheets with gray comforter. Her bed is charcoal gray. So that's what she wanted. And we just got to find her comforter though. I got a daddy caddy for my scrub daddies. And I also got a suction caddy for the sponge and the spooly thing I forget what it's called um that's the little scrubber thing wire scrubber thing that's in the sink and then I also lastly the last thing I got the last thing I got was this drying rack with the mat so we used to have a gray mat but um I threw it away because we've had it for like years and it was kind of dingy and so I got this black one and it also comes with like a little rack so that's convenient like you see on the picture and this was $9.99 and the caddy sorry was $4.99 the caddy was $4.99 and the scrub daddy holder was $4.99 as well uh so that's everything we got so we actually picked up two more things well jade picked it up she paid for it with her money and everything it's um something she got for her dad for um for father's day so yeah oh i didn't even tell you guys i got my new computer so earlier earlier when we left and went to nebraska furniture mart i got my laptop this box is a little beat up but yeah, I got my MacBook Pro. So I got my so I got my new laptop. I got the MacBook Pro 14 inch in space black. And I got the one terabyte. Um yeah. So yeah, because you know I'm I'm getting back to my YouTube girl. So you know, I gotta make sure I have the power to perform and I have problems like I was with my iMac. Now, granted, granted, I still love editing on a desktop. I feel like this is gonna be more convenient because when we're traveling, I can actually take it with me or I can like edit at night when I'm sitting in bed um, instead of like not, you know, of just like binging a show or something, I could literally be working on my own thing. So yeah. Um, Back when I first started YouTube, I was editing on my MacBook Air and it was more convenient because I could kind of take it anywhere. So I kind of missed that, but also I'm gonna be using my hard drive, my external hard drive. So it's still kind of portable, even if I'm editing on the iMac and then switch over to this. But the iMac has been giving me a lot of problems with editing and uploading, specifically uploading. I'll get through editing the video, but when it comes time to upload it, for whatever reason, it's a problem. So yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm just excited, um, to get back kind of going, get in the flow of things with YouTube and stuff again, because this literally has always been like my favorite platform, my most favorite platform, always been a YouTube girly, always will be a YouTube girly, whether that comes, comes down to like consuming the content or creating my own. Yeah. So, and it's just something fun that I like to do. Um while I share my journey through life. 
yep so very exciting um i'm about to actually i need to wash my hair and then i'm gonna set my laptop up and try to get all my footage and stuff on it for my final cut so exciting times so i'm so excited so yeah all right y'all i'm going to be back i guess maybe i don't know if i'm gonna come back or not because i work tomorrow so i think tomorrow we're gonna get up go to the gym um have some lunch and then like go to sleep before i go to my shift i work sunday monday tuesday this week so just knock it out and then i'll be off for for about i think four or five days something like that i started late but we moved the couch over here i was telling you guys about that idea before but we went ahead and swapped the couches well moved this couch from over there to over here and we're just gonna kind of get everything set back up so i just remembered to get you guys so here we go yeah. come on Dave. it's just some water <laughs> like slime jamal and lee angle perspective
This couch, this couch, it can't stay right here. Like this. This is going to the bathroom? Uh, I don't know yet. Right here. I was about to sit there and do my computer stuff. I thought you was doing it in your room. I, I didn't. I kind of want to be out here with my family. But if you want me to go into my room, that's fine. That's fine. No, you could be out here with your family, like you said. It's okay. Well, like you were saying, you like you didn't want me out here. I didn't. That's not how I said it. Okay. I was just saying, because you told me to move all the stuff on the desk so you could be in your room. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this tonight. I feel like that's good. Okay. That's perfect. Well, I'm going to this side of the room. Okay. Your side of the room. Your side is slacking, sir. I think it looks good. I think it looks fine. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's good. 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 You can move it up a little bit. You can move it up a little more. Just to not. Damn, these couches bulky. They are. I think next couch we need to go for like something. Just sleep. This was sleep for the house that we had. It's that modern style. Huh? Huh? Jay said, that's my couch. <laughs> I think it was mine. <laughs> Can't have anything in this house. I'm just kidding. That water's already mine. Nice Can't have nothing. Actually, y'all like can't have nothing I like it better like this than when it was over there, honestly. Y'all cannot have nothing in this house. Even if we didn't put that corner over there. Oh, really? The only reason I didn't want the couch over here in the first place is because I didn't want it to close off the space. But I like the access to I, the windows too. I think it's fine. But remember whenever we were like looking at the stuff and I was like, oh, um, I don't know about putting the couch in front of the window and all that. Mm -hmm. But we put it in front of the window anyway. But I do like it like this. Mm -hmm. And then that desk will fit perfectly in that little corner. Oh, my TV will put that so that will be fine. This beautiful TV here. You measured it? Yeah, okay. I mean, it looked like it'll fit. If not, we'll just move this. And yeah, just it. move that wherever and then scoot it back, whatever well, we gotta do. I'm mounting it, so it doesn't really matter. Like, These things are so small. Oh, uh, because you're gonna be sitting over there. That's true. Okay. Yeah, that's why you should start with an easy one, they said. And you chose a hard one. Puzzle? No, so it's called diamond painting. But I and like it like you I use the little see. pen and it's like little all of these are individual like pixels mm -hmm. or like dots. It's called diamond dots. And then you have to basically recreate the picture with all like the, the ice cream. You see how small these things are? Oh. 
She got to do those one at a time. Look how small yep. these are, y'all. All the colors she needs for this set. I the lady at Michael's was so excited telling us about it. She was like, oh my gosh, get ready to be addicted. And then she was telling us all the ones she does at home. She was really sweet though. She was really nice. Because we drink a lot of water and a lot of bottled things. Either um, a Brita, probably the jug that goes in the fridge. Because I don't know what the hell that is in the, um, the dispenser thing. But yeah, luxury. <laughs> But yeah, um, how dare you move my laptop? Who told you to touch Isn't it? Isn't that your laptop? No, that's daddy's ugly old school oh. laptop. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you look like that laugh. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> look, her brace is about to fall out her mouth. <laughs> She was trying to hold him in, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just no kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No. I can never so find the light. Look at this. The light is this way now oh, because it's getting dark outside. It is pretty. Good luck doing that whole thing. That thing is huge. See, I like good old jigsaw puzzles, crossword puzzles, Sudoku. Sudoku's hard though. Sudoku. I like mahjong. You know you can buy tabletop mahjong? I didn't know you could do that. But anyways, yeah boy. Oh, There's is people out on a patio chilling, enjoying the evening. This is nice. I like that we have the pool view because we get a lot of sun during the day and then in the evening it's like nice. I'm going down. Anyways, all right y'all.